I didn't know what the hell was going on, which meant I was right in my element. What was in those data files? Why did Admiral Cox and the Noble Atlantic Federation want them so badly? And what options was Cox saving for himself? Still, I was happy to again ply the turbulent, free, and mysterious seas of my old home, the Tornado Zone. Like Sodom embedded in solid rock, the eternally shining Atacama City beckoned me home. Ruled by rebellion and centuries of glorious piracy and freebooting, I knew it wouldn't be easy for Atacama to accept a military project imposed on them by Neapolis. Atacama City welcomed deserting officers of the Shogunate, black marketeers from the Clans Union, amok runners and drug dealers, free thinkers, slum poets and fun prophets. It gave shelter to gene dealers, chromosome splitters and nanotechnology smugglers, and gave warmth to those infected by viruses, to mentally ill intellectuals tired of life, and to sleep addicted freaks from all nations. Ivan King, the mightiest and most rational of all the warlords, was feeling pressure. The followers of Boris Santiago, who had been deprived of his leadership five years ago, were trying to return to power by waging a guerrilla war. King tried to maintain a balance between autonomy and a profitable coexistence with the conspicuous consumers of the North. Unfortunately, he sometimes went too far in his dealings, and the Brain Fire Project was a case in point. It intruded like a poisonous virus into a cozy little cell of criminality and free thinking. Here the madness started for me and for the whole of Aqua. Here the stupidity of the modern world reached again for the heavens, only to rip open the gates of hell. is supposed to be unstable there. Ah, that's Velasquez's territory. He's okay. Says he has everything under control. But what about things outside his control? There are mysterious attacks, loads of government troops, some kind of military action going on. Talk about exotic holidays. It's pure chaos here. Hey man, it's the tornado zone. What the hell did you expect? Damn it, Flint. I'm already in Neapolis, and the new line are making the city ungovernable. We've got an interim government under High Commander DiPonto, a new line woman from the naval base. Can you imagine that? The elections have been postponed. The miners and the resource harvesters are on strike. I don't know how much longer I can simply sit by and... Admiral, you're not going to do anything rash, are you? Don't give in. You know me. Tell me what's going on. I've got myself under control, Hotshot. How about you? You better watch out. Even if Commodore Sewell is nothing more to me than an itch on my butt, you listen to him. He controls brain fire. And that means there's still some hope for Aqua. From what I'm hearing, people think brain fire is a threat. Damn zoners. Everything's a threat to him. Just shows you what freedom gets you. Listen, talk to Glozy at Scavenger. She can describe the situation in Atacama. She'll help you get up to speed. And Tubby Escobar, he's also a good man. A bit crazy, perhaps, but still... Sewell's your man until somebody better comes along. Aye, aye, sir. I know, Glow Z. So, I don't need to worry about you, then? Sure. I'm as tired as an old rusty torpedo. Flint, you've always been a good friend. And I hope you stay one. Remember, things are not always the way they seem. And the deepest spot on the Earth is not on the sea bottom. It's within each one of us. Out. Oh, it is a miracle. A miracle has happened. Our prayers have been heard at last. And the great god Tiphius is awakening from his sleep. Hey man, get a grip. 
What the hell are you talking about? Or are you just looking for a donation? Certainly, we always take donations. And I will be glad to accept yours, Traveler. But there's good news. Lima II is threatened by the fires of hell. Ruin and misery come down upon us. The earth opens up and drowns all of us in her boiling blood. Ask if you do not believe. Everyone is talking about it. Hey, Boston, what's new? I just talked to a weird mercenary who says you're at the top of his hit list. Says you killed his boss, Boss Santiago. And gave Santiago's Maganese freighter to Ivan King. Santiago had to go. He would have turned the zone into a wasteland. At least King takes some responsibility for his actions. Oh, the hell with it. Listen up. I heard King could use some help against Santiago's troops. Situation's pretty tense. The mercenary's name is Fletcher, and he hangs out on Scavenger. And hey, what's up with those freaking slider scouts in the zone? Why did they have to put the main shield on the port side? Damn, my eyesight's already bad in my left eye. Nobody's gonna get me into a ship like that. Salam, Flint. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. This time is not the scholar light from the depth of the earth mental that await me, but disaster. What's wrong, Pogda? I've never seen you like this. A volcano erupted on Lima too. I'm trying to organize a cargo ship full of medications and nanorobots, and I need to get it there as fast as possible. Velasquez is coordinating everything from Scavenger. heroes like me. I was born here. Really? Does it still feel like home? I don't know. My mother brought me into the world illegally. I don't know where she is or even if she's still alive. And your father? <laughs> My father was an artificial Y chromosome. A scientific experiment from Machina. They called the children in the test series gems. I had two sisters, Opal and Ruby. And a few brothers, too. So that's why you're in the zone. What happened to your siblings? I don't know. The program swallowed them. But my mother got away and found a place for me in a pirate's clan. I never knew her. 